Hey guys, now that we've got past that ridiculously dramatic intro, we're going to be taking a look at the very first build of Yuzu Emulator, a Nintendo Switch emulator. Coming in straight away, we can see that it's very similar to Citra Emulator for anyone who's used it before. When we come to File, we have Load Files, we have Select Game Directory, and Recent Files, of which I have none, as there currently isn't really a proper way to rip your games from your Nintendo Switch. Come to Emulation, we have Stop, Pause, and Start. And when we come to configure, let's have a look at some of the configuration options. Once again, this screen is super similar for anyone who has used or even seen Citra Emulator in the past. It's as would be expected, I suppose. It's the same team making it. So we have CPU core, one is dynamic, one is unicorn. I'm guessing this is unicorn is single core and dynamic will be maybe multi-core. Uh, search subdirectories. Coming to settings, we have options to put our username, our birthday, and what kind of language options do we have? We have Japanese, English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Simplified Chinese, Korean, Dutch, Portuguese, Russian, and Traditional Chinese. In sound output, we have, we have mono, stereo, and surround. Now, do they all work? Sometimes in Citra, when you change these, it would crash, but it seems they have fixed that for Yuzu. Console ID, this won't be used yet until we have proper homebrew stuff on the Switch. Coming across to input, it seems to already be detecting my PS4 pad, which is odd. Does it work? It does work. So PS4 pad works, the DualShock 4 pad just works out of the box without having to use DS4 windows. And um, we have, okay, what is this, left stick. Let's click on this and see what happens. After pressing OK, first move your joystick horizontally and then vertically. Click OK, so... Oh, OK, so it seems to automatically detect your directional input on your joysticks. Let's try the right stick. After pressing OK, first move your joystick horizontally, then vertically. Yeah, it seems to automatically detect and map your sticks so that's a pretty cool feature does it map the shoulder buttons yeah the shoulder buttons all work it's pretty cool everything seems to just work let's come across the graphics now there's not pretty much going to be nothing here so we have currently does nothing and oh so the native resolution is actually the native resolution of the switch itself not in docked mode so in portable mode so we have 1280 by 720 so that's 720p and then we have 1440p at two times, three times is 4K resolution, 38, 40 by 21, 60, and then we have 5120 by 2880. So that's, that's pretty, at least we have some decent resolution options straight away. Limit frame rate options, this is either going to be 30 or 60, I'm guessing. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. Um, yeah, it's very basic for now, as you would expect with the very first build of an emulator like this that's still in super experimental phase. Okay, let's come across and see what the debug options are. Yeah, once again, very, very basic. We just have to enable GCD stub, and that's about it. So there we go, guys. The very first look at the very first build of Yuzu, a Switch emulator. I'll have the link to download all of these new Yuzu builds linked down in the description if you guys want to check any of them out yourselves. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.